All right, hello everyone. Here we are back for Rookie Guide here. This is going to be for the uh, Vintage Open. Just going to take a look, see what everything looks like here. Not sure how I'm going to play this one exactly. I have to just take a look before committing to something here. Should be a couple different ways to go about this. I'm trying to think if they would uh, give us a uh, tailwind here or headwind. It could be either or, in my opinion. Just a little slow here. Oh, jeez. Wrong way. we go see it looks like you'll be able to jump so you're better off going at this with power as you can see probably also better off with some kind of either side spin ball or doing some kind of hook shot as well So my thoughts are kind of thinking about something close to a katana ball potentially. It doesn't even really matter if we wind up to the left in my opinion. It'll be okay. You don't really need to get up on the green. More so than anything, if you can just kind of get it up about pin high, that's what's going to be ideal more than anything. You'll see that I'll just kind of aim over here to the side. Decent amount of curl here. Perfect ball. And as I mentioned, you know, with the curl more so than anything, just trying to get it over here close to the fringe. It's going to give you a straight shot towards the green. Uh, with the rookie division, the, the biggest thing that you want to be a little bit cautious with is your perfect ball. Hopefully you have something decent. I think I have maybe a skewer six. Um, it, it, it may just be a little bit early that you'll just want to be a little bit cautious with your perfect ball because missing perfect ball can essentially probably costs you uh, this pitch a couple different ways to, to go about doing it um, you know I can go for a dunk and you can see that I might just try to figure out you know which is bit which is smaller is it the hole or the inner ring and I believe I may just have just a little bit more than a ring of error here so with that in mind um, you know, I'm hoping that a great ball will still catch the edge of the cup. And as you can see, it does. So since I'm up there close enough and the inside of the ring fits, you can see that a uh, great ball either way should be able to hold. And that's what I would, you know, maybe recommend, especially for early clubs. However, if that inside yellow ring doesn't fit inside the hole, if you see yellow outside the hole, it means you're not close enough or you don't have good enough accuracy. I'd probably just go for um, some kind of run-up shot. So definitely keep that in mind. Good luck with that first hole and catch you guys on number two.